ിൽ <laughs> لماذا أتى الحسن من غرفة المراقب؟ What will be the translation of this sentence? Do you think you are able to translate it? It's basically okay. It's basically أتى ب and uh, normally we know that أتى uh, means to come. But when we use the preposition of be, that means to bring. And now it was required that the preposition should come in the beginning of the sentence because after that, uh, there is no noun where we can connect it. So, Bimada Ata al Hasanu min Gurfat al Muraqibi, what did Hassan bring uh, from the room of the controller? So, Bimada Ata is it was basically Ata B. So, it will be Mada Ata bil Hasanu. Uh, but as i said like uh, it depends like where and how to place the preposition and this is the appropriate place where we can put it so it will be bimada atal hasanu min ghurfat al muraqibi what did hasan bring from the office of the controller and the answer is uh, the chalks if you remember yes a tin of chalks exactly excellent so uh, atal hasanu now you can see here that it comes with the tabashiri so we can see there that ba comes with the with the noun over here so ata means he came but when we say ata bi that means he brought so ata al hasanu hasan brought uh, ata al hasanu bi tabashiri hasan brought chalks min ghurfat al muraqibi from the office of the controller or the office of the supervisor Next one is an easy question. Masmu al-Talibi al-Jadidi. What is the name of the new student? Why do I say al-Talibi al-Jadidi? Because the word ismun is used as mudaf. It is used as mudaf. Ibnun wa ismun. Uh, normally, they are used as mudaf. Uh, why? Because uh, if we translate it, we will say. what is the name of the new student so whenever we have the meaning of of uh, that means the the noun that comes before of will be mudaf and the noun that comes after that will be mudaf ilay ma as we know it's harf istifham which is used to ask a question so we will say that ma is mubtada and ism talibi al jadidi will be khabar masm talibi al jadidi what is the name of the new stu- student Ismuhu Munirun. So the answer is already there. Ismuhu Munirun. His name is Munir. About Munir, can you figure out the pattern? Like, is it Ismul Fail? Is it Ismul Mafool? Uh, or any other uh, noun that you can think about? Ismul Fail. Ismul Fail. Excellent. Okay. How do you figure out uh, that it's Ismul Fail? The first. Uh, the first letter is Dama, and the Excellent, and then uh, we have kasra. So kasra right. before the second last letter, uh, or before the last letter when we have kasra, then normally uh, the construction is uh, ismul fail. Excellent, and inshallah, uh, when we start uh, from lesson number sixteen, when we start the derived forms of the verb, uh, then we will get a very clear idea about how to make ismul fail and ismul maful uh, from the verbs that are uh, mazid fi. Min aina huwa? Where is he from? 
هو من بريطانيا هو بريطانيا هو من بريطانيا يس هو من بريطانيا هي از فروم انجلند All right, so now we have uh, the information about al mubtadaw wal khabaru al mubtadaw uh, it basically means ibtada'a yabtadiu ibtada'an uh, that means to start something to start something so that's why we call it mubtadaw or al mubtadaw uh, that means that the, the the noun that we start a sentence with okay and wal khabaru as we know that khabaru means news Uh, so every noun, when we, whenever we talk about a noun, uh, it has to have a news so that we know that like what is happening about the noun. Uh, for example, we say uh, Allahu. Okay, so when we say Allahu, uh, then we are waiting for the news. Like what news do you want to give? So you can say Allahu Ghafurun, Allahu Akbaru. Uh, so similarly, if you have any other noun, for example, you say Muhammadun. When you say Muhammadun, uh, now, yes, we know that Muhammad is a name, but after that, uh, we need to know the news, the khabar. What is the khabar? So we will say Muhammadun or Rasulullah. So after that, the sentence will be complete. So that's why we call that al mubtadaw wal khabaru. And now we have the same information as we discussed uh, in the in the previous lesson uh, in Arabic. Now al mubtadaw huwa al ismu al ladhi natahadathu anhu. So al mubtadaw is a noun uh, that we talk about. Huwa, it is al ismu a noun. Al uh, the one natahadathu we talk about, and who it. So basically, mubtada is a noun that we talk about. Well, khabaru and the predicate. So as we know, mubtada is subject and khabar is predicate. Well, khabaru huwa al hadithu. So khabar is basically uh, a, a talk. or it's it's a conversation alladhi which tatimmu completes which completes bihi with it al faidatu uh, the information so basically uh, it's a it's a news uh, which gives us the information about the mubtada so al khabar huwa al hadith alladhi tatimmu bihi al faidatu so basically khabar is a news or khabar is a, is a piece of information Uh, which is about the mubtada which tells us or which gives us information about the mubtada nahwu for example al qamaru jamilun so which one will be mubtada and which one will be khabar it's very simple al qamaru is mubtada and, mubtada and jamilun is khabar and we know that normally uh, mubtada is a proper noun and khabar is a common noun fa fi hadhihi al jumlati so in this sentence nuridu we want an natahaddatha to talk عن القمر about the moon فلفظ uh, so the word القمر uh, القمر مبتدا is a subject ونريد and we want ان نقول to say انه جميل that in these indeed it is beautiful فلفظ جميل uh, so the word جميل خبر is خبر uh, so the same thing that we discussed in english now we know in arabic that uh, Uh, the news that we talk about or the, the noun that we talk about is called mubtada and the news that we give about it is called khabar so this uh, text is clear any word that you would like to ask or anything that is uh, grammatically that needs to be analyzed i believe like such sentences mashallah we have analyzed so many times uh, so i would ask only one question over here an uh, naqula What is the status of an naqula over here? Masdar muawwal ustad. Ahsanti, that's number one. Number two, what is the status? Is it marfu or mansub or majroor? Mansub ustad. Mansub, excellent. No? Because of nuridu. Nuridu, we want. So we want is fail plus file. And an naqula is basically Masood. in the place of maful bihi. Uh, for example, wa nuridu qawlana. It will be qawlana. Yes, our, our saying or our talk. إنه جميل indeed it is beautiful. فلفظ and the word جميل uh, so the word جميل خبر is is predicate. All right. من أحكام المبتدا now we talk about the the rulings of the subject uh, or like the أحكام is basically the plural of حكم so it's أحكام so here it will be translated as the rulings of subject. Anwa'ul uh, mubtada'i, the types of or the kinds of subject. 
المبتدأ إما اسم صريح وإما مصدر مؤول Subject is either an original noun or it is an interpreted noun. Nahu, for example, Allahu Rabbuna. So Allahu will be Mubtada and Rabbuna will be Khabar. Allah is our Rabb. Al Qiraatu Mufidatun. Reading is useful. Al Julusu Huna Mamnuan. It is not permissible to sit over here, or sitting over here is forbidden. نحن طلاب we are students so here اسم الجلالة الله القراءة الجلوس ونحن all of them are مبتدا are they اسم صريح أو مصدر مؤول okay the original noun I would translate it اسم صريح means the original noun and مصدر مؤول means the interpreted noun. So are they original nouns or are they the interpreted masdar? These are uh, original nouns. That Excellent, Allah. all of them, yes. Excellent. For example, Allahu, Al-Qira'atu, Al-Julusu, Nahnu, all of them are the original nouns. Uh, whereas uh, whenever we talk about masdar and mu'awwalun, uh, please remember we have dedicated a complete lesson to this, that it is always a combination of a harf, which is an, and then mm -hmm. the present tense, fil mudari. So the combination of an plus fil mudari is called masdarun mu'awwalun. Other than that, every noun will be considered as ismun sarihun. Ismun sarihun, we will call that. Bayani, the original noun. Wa antasumu khairun lakum. To fast is the best for you. To fast, antasumu. So we can see over here that uh, wa is harf istinafia that is used to start a sentence. So antasumu will be muqtada or in place of muqtada and khairun will be khabar and lakum is jar majroor as we know that. So we will translate it to fast. Why? Because an means to and the sumu is uh, to fast. So that's why uh, we will say uh, to fast is better for you or is the best for you. If we replace replace it with siyamukum, siyamukum khairun lakum, then we will say fasting is better for fasting. you. Fasting. Excellent. Then we have uh, to forgive is the closest to piety. So to forgive. Again, what kind of uh, a noun is this? Is this Isman Surihun or Masdar Mu'awwal? Masdar Mu'awwal. Masdar Mu'awwal. Why? Because it's a combination of an a plus uh, the present tense. Excellent. Uh, to forgive is the closest to piety. Excellent. So the first alif is all of them are uh, asma sarih, and the second one, all of them ba, all of them are the masdar al muawwal. Then we have tariful tariful mubtadai wa tankirahu, definiteness and indefiniteness of the subject. Why do we translate it as noun definiteness and indefiniteness? Because here tarif is the masdar arrafa yarrafu tarifan. Wa tankir is also masdar, nakkara yu nakkiru tankiran. So whenever we have masdar, it will be translated as a noun. So you know that an English noun can, can be translated as ending with ness, like sometimes with ing. So here it will be definiteness and indefiniteness of the subject. Al aslu fil muqtadai an yakuna marifatan. So originally, al aslu originally fil muqtadai, uh, the subject, is, uh, is, is, is definite. So al aslu originally muqtada is a definite noun. Kama fil amthilatil atiyati as in the following examples. So as we know that uh, muqtada is normally a definite noun, yani it's a proper noun. Al muqtadau matbu'un bil ahmari. The subject is printed in, in red. So matbu'un as you can see over here, this is tabaa yatbau. So matbu'un will be on the pattern of maf'ulun. So we will say al muqtadau matbu'un, translated, uh, the translation will be, the subject is printed bil ahmari in the red, in, in, in red color. Muhammadun uh, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, uh, Rasulullah. So we can see here that uh, uh, the red color as we can see here, this is the subject and uh, Rasulullah is the predicate. Similarly, Ana, I, Mudarrisun, am a teacher, 
I am a teacher and I'm a person, so Anna will be subject and person uh, will be predicate. Okay, so Muhammadun, is it a definite noun or indefinite noun? Common noun or proper noun? Proper noun. Proper noun. So proper we have noun. seen here, uh, we have seen here that originally, as we can see here, originally, a Muqtada is a proper noun, originally. But there is a possibility that Muqtada can be a common noun. But as of now, we will focus on Muqtada being a proper noun. Hada masjidun, this is a masjid. So Hada is Muqtada and masjidun is Khabar. And we know that Hada is Ismun Ishara and all of them are proper nouns. Alladhi, the one, Ya'budu worships غير الله mushrikun other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a mushrik. So other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it might be a thing, it might be anything. Uh, whenever someone associates uh, partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is mushrik. So Alladhi, what kind of uh, noun is this? Ismul Masul. Ismul Masul, excellent. Relative noun. So we know that after that, normally there is a, a complete sentence and it can be a verbal sentence and it can be a nominal sentence. So here we have the verbal sentence, Yabudu. And yes. basically, Hua, uh, we know that in Yabudu we have Hua, uh, which refers to Alladhi. There has to be a Damir, which refers or which goes back to Alladhi or which goes back to the uh, Ismul Masul. So the one who, so we will say that Alladhi is Muqtada and Ya'budu Ghayr Allah is is in the place of Khabar or we will say this is Khabar. Al-Qur'anu Kitabullahi. Quran is the book of Allah. Uh, what kind of noun is Al-Qur'an over here? It's indefinite. No, definite. 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 Muhalla bi al. I wanted to know that. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that you know you need to remember the uh, terms as well, so that because we are learning Arabic, so we should know. Muhallan bi al, yani it is decorated with al. So Quranun, yeah. if it is Quranun Majidun, bal huwa Quranun Majid. If it is only Quran Majid or it is only Quran, then it will be a common noun. But when we add al with that, then it becomes a proper noun. Al Quranu Kitabullahi. Uh, Quran is the book of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Miftahul Jannati as Salatu. Yes, the key of Jannah is prayer. So here uh, we will say that Miftahul Jannati is Mudah Mudafileh. So it's a complete construction. Uh, whereas according to the uh, to, to, to this book or the grammarians over there, they say that we will only say that Miftah is Muqtada and As Salatu is Khabar. However, if we say Miftahul Jannati is Muqtada and As Salatu is Khabar, uh, that is also okay, that is also acceptable. So the, the key of Jannah is prayer. Now here, are the subject and predicate equal in number and gender? Of course not. You remember yesterday I told you that there is a possibility uh, that in some certain conditions, uh, Muqtada and gender may not be equal in, 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 in gender, they may not be equal in gender. Normally we know that Muqtada and Khabar are equal in number and gender. But here we know that Miftah is, a, is, is a Mudhakkar, but as Salatu is Mu'annath. So this is, this is also possible as well in Arabic language. And the reasons inshallah we will discuss in the uh, coming lessons. However, we know as of now, we know that a subject and predicate are equal in two things. What are those two things? Number and gender. وَقَدْ يَكُونُ الْمُقْتَدَعُ نَكِرَةً بِشُرُوطٍ مِنْهَا وَقَدْ يَكُونُ If you remember, I, we discussed earlier that قَدْ, when it comes with the present tense, it gives the meanings of sometimes. وَقَدْ يَكُونُ And sometimes الْمُقْتَدَعُ The subject, نَكِرَةً is a common noun, is indefinite noun. بِشُرُوطٍ مِنْهَا With these conditions. So sometimes مُقْتَدَعُ can be a common noun but with some certain conditions and the conditions are over here. al-khabaru shibha jumlatin. The predicate is an, uh, is, is a, a shibhu jumla, yani is an incomplete sentence. So when the predicate is an incomplete sentence or al-muradu bi shibhi jumlati, uh, the meaning of uh, shibhu jumla is al-dharfu wal jaru wal majruru. So the sentence that starts with dharf or jar majrur, that is called Shibhu Jumla. Yani it resembles basically, it resembles a 
sentence, but it is not a complete sentence. Why it is not a complete sentence? Because it cannot communicate the meaning itself. We always need uh, a subject or we always need muktada to complete the meaning. Okay. And, uh, uh, and they are preceded or they are given preference or they come before of the muktada. Nahu, for example. So they come before the muktada. Indana siyaratun. So in this sentence, where is muktada and where is khabar? Siyaratun is muktada and indana is khabar. Khabar, excellent. Why indana is khabar? Because it is a gharf plus mudafile. And as we have seen that it's a shibhu jumla and shibhu jumla cannot be muktada. It will always be khabar. However, we have seen that after that, normally uh, muktada is the common noun. So Nakira, as we can see here, that as we have discussed over here, that with some certain conditions, that Muqtada can be Nakira, and this is condition number one. Number two, uh, it says here, Huna, here, Sayyaratun Muqtadaun, and Sayyaratun is subject, wa dharfu and dharf inda khabarun, and the, and the uh, dharf inda is khabar. So we said that uh, inda na is, uh, is khabar, whereas according to this book, only inda is khabar, and na is not the part of the khabar. Li akhun, I have a brother. Li is jar majroor, shibhu jumla, and we know that shibhu jumla or jar majroor cannot be muktada. So this is khabar, and akhun is muktada. Akhun, is it a common noun or proper noun? Proper noun. A common noun. It's a common noun. It doesn't have any reason why it's a proper noun. Does it have al? It, it simply carries, carries the mean. So a noun normally when it carries the mean, generally it's a common noun, isn't it? Huna akhun muqtadaun, here akhun is muqtada, wal jaru wal majroor li khabarun, and jaru wal majroor li is khabar. So now we know that uh, shibhu jumla, which is the combination of gharf and jar majroor, it cannot be muqtada, it will always be a khabar. And the muqtada is generally, it is a common noun as we can see over here. In the nasiyaratun wali akhun. Do you remember the example of the Quran? I'm asking once again uh, that we have about jar majroor and the khab, and the and the subject is a common noun. Fi qulubihim maradun. Fi qulubihim. We can see that that fi is harf jar and qulubihim is uh, majroor. So jar majroor. Fi qulubihim maradun. There is a disease in their hearts. So if you remember one example from the Quran, inshallah, you will never forget. So fi qulubihim, we will say that this is a khabar, maradun is subject, which is the muqtada. An yakun al muqtadaw isma istifhamin. So when, uh, when muqtada is uh, interrogative noun. Now here, why we have to say isma istifhamin? Because we know that kana yakunu, and there is ismu kana and khabaru kana. Ismu kana is always marfu. So we can see here that ismu kana is marfu and khabaru kana has to be mansub. So we will say isma istifhamin. And yakuna al muqtadaw isma istifhamin. When subject is an interrogative noun. So if you remember the interrogative nouns, the nouns that are used to ask questions, we call them asma'ul istifham. What are those? Do you remember that? Man, ma, man, ma, mata, mada. Four of them, please remember like this. Four of them, they start with mean. Man, ma, mata, mada. Two of them start with kaf. Kaifa, wakam. Two of them start with hamza. Aina and anna. And two of them start with li. Lima and limada. So they are totally ten. So four start with mean. Uh, two start with kaf. One, two start with hamza. And to start with lam, lima and limada. Wa asmaul istifhami nakiratun. And interrogative nouns or asmaul istifham are common nouns. So this one will be muftada and this one will be khabara. Khabar. So all of them are common nouns. Nahmu, for example, ma bika. What is wrong with you? So ma will be subject and bika will be predicate. Why? Because bika is jar majroor, and we know that jar majroor cannot be subject, it will always be predicate. Even though ma is a common noun, but as we see, as we have discussed, that there are some possibilities when common noun can be muqtada, and this is the third possibility, 
uh, where uh, that a small istifham, we know that generally they come in the beginning of the sentence and they will be muqtada if the khabar is, a, is, is jar majroor or khabar is shibhu jumla. Huna here, ismul istifham ma muqtada on, uh, is uh, interrogative noun ma is uh, subject, wal jaru wal majruru and jar majroor, or we can say prepositional phrase, bika, bika khabarun is khabar. So ismul istifham yani ma is subject and bika is predicate. Man maridun, who is sick? So man will be muqtada and maridun will be khabar. Why? Because both of them are common nouns. Both of them are common nouns. And uh, if you remember yesterday, we also discussed or in the previous lesson, in the general observations, uh, it was, I, I mentioned that if two common nouns come together, and the first and one of them is muqtada and the second of them is khabar we will say that the first one is muqtada and the second one is khabar similarly we can say because it is ism istifham and we know that is asma istifham they can also be muqtada huna ism istifham man muqtada so here the interrogative noun man is subject wa maridun khabarun and maridun is predicate kam taliban fil fasli how many students are there in the classroom Okay, uh, can you tell me please, can you please tell me about Muqtada and Khabar over here? I'm Taliban. Now, in the previous lesson, we discussed that Kam is Muqtada okay, and yeah. Phil firstly will be Khabar. Taliban. Because Kam is Harf Istifham, which is used to, sorry, Ismul Istifham, which is used to ask a question. Taliban is a Tamiz which is basically to, to tell the number, okay? Tamiz cannot be muqtada or khabar, so that's why we will say that kam is the subject, and jar majroor, shibhu jumna fil fasli is khabar. Huna is, ismul istifhami kam muqtada, as we can see here, here the uh, interrogative noun kam is muqtada, wa fil fasli khabarun, and fil fasli is khabar. Tartibul muqtadai wal khabari, order of Subject and predicate, the order of subject and predicate. Al aslu an yataqaddama al muqtada al al khabari. Originally, we know that muqtada comes first and khabar comes after that, right? So, this is the original construction. Al aslu an yataqaddama al muqtada that originally uh, the muqtada should come al al khabari before khabar. Nahwu, for example, anta madarisun. Uh, you are a teacher. So anta is muqtada and mudarrisun is khabar. So this is the standard construction. And its opposite is also permissible. Nahwu, for example, a mudarrisun anta. A mudarrisun anta, are you a teacher? Now we can see here that anta is muqtada and mudarrisun is khabar. Uh, so this one, uh, now the construction has been changed. And what happened over here? that khabar has come first and uh, the, the muqtada has come later. And this is also possible, yani it is permissible. Jaza yuzu, yani it's possible to do that. And there is a possibility uh, that we can change the order of muqtada and khabar. But the reason is why, the reason is because it starts with hamzatul istifham. Ilahun ma, ilahun ma'anlah. We have discussed this example in, in a book number two as well, that when we have Harf istifham a, then after that we can bring that the common noun can come first and the proper noun can come later. Yani we can bring muqtada first and we can uh, delay the, uh, we can delay the muqtada and we can bring uh, khabar first. Wayajibu, and it is uh, obligatory, ayyataqaddama al muqtada, that the muqtada has to come first, idha kana, if isma istifhamin, if it is ismul istifham. So if Muqtada is ismul istifham, that it is a must that it should come first. For example, nahu, for example, ma bika. So now we have to bring, we have to say that ma is muqtada and bika is khabar. Now it is uh, obligatory, it is it is wajib that we have to say that because it's, uh, you know that harf istifham normally comes in the beginning of the sentence because it is required. We cannot make a sentence uh, without that. So when we have harf istifham in the beginning of the sentence, and after that, please remember, after that, either we have a jar majroor, or after that, either we have a common noun. So when we say man maridun, 
who is sick. So we will say that man is muqtada and maridun is khabar. Why is that? Because man is harfi istifham. It is ismu istifham. Ismu istifham again. Wayajibu an yadaqaddam al khabaru. And it is a must that the khabar should come first. Ida kana isma istifhamin. If it is ismu istifham. So now this point we need to know. Over here, when we say ma ismuka, ismuka, now ismu has become a proper noun. How it has become a proper noun? Because, no, because of ka. ka. We know that all attached pronouns are definite. So whenever we attach, whenever we use a definite noun with a indefinite, with an indefinite noun, so whenever we use a for example, a noun with the proper noun or with the attached pronoun, then it is also it also becomes a proper noun. What do we call this? Mudaf il al marifa. Mudaf il al marifa. We know that ismu is a common noun, but when we use it as mudaf for the proper noun, then it also becomes a proper noun. So now we will say that ismu is a proper noun because of ka. Now, which one will be muktada and which one will be khabar? <clears throat> Wow. Okay, yes, please. Ismuka, ismuka is muktada. Excellent. Ismuka is muktada and ma is khabar. Why? Because when we have a proper noun and a common noun, and then generally proper noun will be muktada and common noun will be khabar. Even though ma has come in the beginning of the sentence, why it has come in the beginning of the sentence? Because it is a harf istifham, and we know that harfi istifham has to come in the beginning of the sentence. Like in English, we say, what is your name? When will you come? So we have to start them in the beginning of the sentence. Similarly, in Arabic, we have to start them in the, we have to start or we have to bring them in the beginning of the sentence. But it doesn't mean that if they are in the beginning of the sentence, they are muqtada and they can be khabar as well. And why will they be khabar? If after that, we have a proper noun. Similarly, kaifa haluka. So halu here, uh, will be muqtada and kaifa will be khabar. Uh, and we can also say that haluka is muqtada and kaifa is khabar. Why haluka is muqtada? Because it is a proper noun. Ustaz, one more time. Yes, please. The reason I will say the reason, Ustaz. Again, please. Uh, yes. Why, why are we saying uh, anta mudarrisun? It we is also like you're right. We can say that uh, anta uh, that will that will be the standard construction as we can see here. Waya juzu and it is possible or it is permissible aksuhu to bring its opposite. Then we are only talking about the possibility. This is not a fixed rule. This is just a possibility. But we have the example of this in the Quran. A ilahum Allah. So when there is Harf istifham, you know that there are only two uh, harf istifham, a wahal. A wahal, we call them harf istifham. They are particles, okay? So when a sentence starts with a, then there is a possibility that we can uh, change the order. We can bring khabar first and we can delay the muqtada. So here, here we have replaced it by yakum. We have replaced it, why? Because of a. If we don't have a over there, then we will simply say, Anta Madarisun, you are a teacher. But if you want to say, are you a teacher? Then there are two possibilities. Number one, a Anta Madarisun. And number two, a Madarisun Anta. Whereas the second one is Balikh. As we know that in Arabic, like something is Afsah. Yani, this is something which is preferable. So when you have a in the beginning of a sentence, then it's, it's preferable that we change the order. We bring predicate first and we delay the Muqtada. But both of them are permissible. Both of them are okay. I hope it's clear now. Yes. All right. Helpful muqtadai, omission of subject. Uh, sometimes the subject is omitted. Yajuzu, yajuzu, helpful muqtadai, muqtadai, ida ulema. So we can drop the subject if it is known. Ulema, as we know that it's a, it's a passive verb. So yajuzu helpful muqtadai, that it is it is permissible to drop or to omit subject. Ida ulema, if it is 
known. And if we know about the subject, then there is a possibility that we can drop it. Taqulu, you say, Lissa'ili, to the person who asks you the question. Anismika, yani you tell the person who asks you a question about your name. Simply you say, Hamidun. When you say Hamidun, I, yani, ismi Hamidun, you want to say, my name is Hamid. So if someone asks you a question, Masmuka, what is your name? You can answer in two ways. Either you can say, ismi Hamidun, or you can say, simply say Hamidun. When you simply say Hamidun, then what happened? That the subject has been omitted. The subject has been dropped. So that's why there is a possibility that sometimes we can, we can omit or we can drop the muqtada or we can drop the subject. Now, maybe it might sound a little bit irrelevant or unnecessary, like why we need to do that. But this construction happens a lot in the Quran. So inshallah, when we start analyzing the text of the Quran, then we will come to know that sometimes Muqtada has been dropped and sometimes Khabar has been dropped. So we are done with the part of Muqtada. Now we talk about min ahkam al khabari Now we talk about the rulings of the predicate. Anwa al khabari the types of Khabar or the types of predicate. al khabaru imma mufradun. Predicate is either a word, any single word. It is singular, in fact. Mufradun means singular. Ay laysa jumlatan, yani it is not a sentence, it is only singular, yani al khabaru imma mufradun, that predicate is either singular, wa imma jumlatun, or it is a sentence, wa imma shibhu jumlatin, or it is an incomplete sentence. So there are three possibilities for the predicate. Number one, it can be singular, mufrad. Number two, it can be a complete sentence and it can be a nominal sentence and it can be a verbal sentence or it is an incomplete sentence, shibhu jubna, and it can be jar majroor and it can be zarf or mudaf ilayhi. Number one, fal khabar al mufradu, singular predicate, nahwu for example, al mu'minu, subject, mir'at al mu'mini is the mirror of the mu'min. A believer is a, is a mirror of the believer. So here we will say that al-mu'minu is subject and mir'atu is predicate. And this is a complete construction mudaf mudaf alayh. That's why we know that mudaf mudaf alayh, they always come together. So the, here they say that mir'atu is only uh, is predicate. Whereas we can say that mir'atu al-mu'mini, the complete construction is predicate. Why? Because we know that mudaf mudaf alayh always come together. We cannot break them apart. Well, khabar al-jumlatu. And khabar is a sentence. Nahwu, for example, al-mudiru, subject. Masmuhu, what is his name? So this is the like word by word translation. So when we say al-mudiru masmuhu, the translation will be, what is the name of the manager? Masmuhu, now we can see here that it is a complete sentence. How? Ismuhu is muqtada and ma is khabar. And as we can see over here that the khabar can be a complete sentence. So in this case, uh, khabar is a complete sentence. And what kind of sentence is this? It is a nominal sentence. It is jumla ismiya. Al-jumlatul ismiyatu masmuhu khabarun. So as we can see here that the uh, nominal sentence masmuhu is khabar. Wa hiya fi mahalli rafin. And it is in the place of the rafar. Why it is in the place of the rafar? Because we know that muqtada and khabar, both of them are marfu. Both of them are marfu. So now we will say that the complete sentence is in the place of in the place of khabar because normally uh, this is what we use when we talk, when we analyze it. We will say that the complete sentence is mahal and marfu or mansub or majroor. So please remember that the complete sentence can be uh, marfu, it can be mansub, and it can be majroor. Here the complete sentence is marfu. Why is that? Because it is predicate. Because it is predicate. I, want to know, I want to know that you are with me. Okay. Wallahu khalaqakum. Allah created you. So ismu jalala is muqtada and khalaqakum is a complete verbal sentence. Khalaqa fail plus file and kum is maful bihi. So it's a complete sentence. Yes. Ismu jalala. Yes, ismu jalala is muqtada. Uh, no, sir, uh, we can say, uh, we can call Ismu Jalala Mubdada. Yes. 
Old Minister. Yes, yes, let's move to that. Wallahu khalaqakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you all. So Ismul Jalala is Mubtada and Khalaqakum is Khabar. The reason why we have to use the word Ismul Jalala because we don't want to say that Allah is Mubtada and the rest of the sentence is Khabar. Uh, this is uh, yani against the dignity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Ta'zeema lillallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to say that Ismul Jalala is Marfu or Mansub or Majroor. And similarly, we will say that Ismul Jalala is Mubtada or we will say it is Khabar. So here the uh, khabar is a verbal sentence. Khalaqa, because it starts with the verb. He created you all. Al Jumlatul Fi'liyatu, the verbal sentence, Khalaqakum, Khalaqakum uh, Khabarun is a predicate. Wahiya fi mahalli raf'in, and it is in the place of rafer. Why it is in the place of rafer? Because we know that Mubtada and Khabar, both of them are marfu. Well, khabaru shibhu jumlati, and khabar is uh, shibhu jumla or incomplete sentence. Uh, nahwu, for example, al jannatu, jannah, tahta aqdam al ummahati. Uh, jannah is under the feet of the, the mothers. So now we can see here that tahta is dharf, uh, and after that, and we know that it is also used as mudaf, and the rest of the construction will be mudaf ilay. So we will say that al jannatu is muqtada. And al shibhu or shibhu jumla tahta aqdam al ummahati is in the place of khabar. So tahta aqdam al ummahati. What is the sentence? What is the status of the sentence? The whole sentence is it marfu, mansub, or majroor? Marfu. Marfu. Why it is marfu? Because it is in the place of predicate, and we know that predicate is also uh, predicate is also marfu as well. Okay. Now, now one more thing. Al Jannatu is feminine, but Tahta Akadam al Mahati. So are they equal, subject and predicate? They are not equal. But as, I, as we said, that sometimes it is not necessary that the subject and predicate will be equal in number and gender. Adharfu Tahta Khabarun. Here uh, in this book, according to this book, they say that only Tahta is, uh, is, is predicate. But we can say that Tahta Akadam al Mahati is predicate. Why? Because Tahta doesn't come alone. It has to come as muqtada and there has to be, uh, it, it, is, it comes as mudaf and there has to be mudaf ilayh. So that's why we can say that the complete construction is fi mahalli raf'in. Whereas according to this book, we will say that only tahta is khabar. Wa huwa mansubun fi mahalli raf'in. And it is mansub fi mahalli raf. No, it's not mansub, it is marfu, isn't it? Because both, we know that muqtada and khabar, both of them are marfu. So it is marfu basically. Alhamdulillahi. Where is the subject and where is the predicate? Where is Muqtada and where is Khabar? Sir, I have one doubt, Sir. Yes, please. Al-Mudiru Masmuhu. You are saying the time a Masmu is the Khabar. But yes. here, Haluka, you are saying no. The time and the Haluka is the Muqtada. Muqtada. Yes. We hear the Lamir is in uh, attached pronoun, pronoun is here now, sir. So we can say this is the Mubudada, we, can, we can't say. Uh, which one? Tahta Akadam al Mahati? No, sir. Al Mudiru. The before one. Okay, okay, before, okay, over here, yes. Al Mudiru, okay, yes. Kaifa uh, Haluka. What is the differentiation between the. In Kaifa Haluka, when you say Kaifa Haluka, Kaifa. Yes. Is 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 uh harfest ifham, which is used to ask a question, right? It's one word. And haluka is one word, it is mufrad. Haluka um, is mufrad, okay. But here it is not mufrad, it is a complete sentence. Ma ismuhu in itself is a complete sentence. If you break it further down, so if you further break mm. it down, then we will say that ismuhu is muqtada and ma is khabar, right? So um, basically, there is a sentence within a sentence. So that's why we can say that a complete sentence can be muqtada and a, a complete sentence can be khabar. Uh, similarly, mm -hmm. we can say that mufrad, yani one word can be muqtada and one word can be khabar, uh, can also be khabar. Okay. All right, alhamdulillah. So, alhamdulillah, where is uh, muqtada and where is khabar? This one is easier. 
Alhamdulillah. Muqtada. Muqtada and Lillah is Khabar. Okay. And this is what is this? Al-Jaru wal Majruru. This is uh, Al-Jaru wal Majruru. Uh, you need to know that, that this means the preposition plus a noun. So we call it a, prep, a prepositional phrase. So mm -hmm. Lillahi Khabarun. So Al-Jaru wal Majruru Lillahi Khabarun. And so Al-Jaru wal Majruru Lillah is Khabar. Wa huwa fi mahalli raf'in. And it is in the place of the Rafa. So we know that both uh, Alhamdu is Marthu and Lillahi is Marthu because we know that Muqtada and Khabar, both of them are Marthu. Okay. Now we have a little bit more information. Mutabakatuhu uh, lil Muqtadai. Uh, its agreement to the subject. Uh, here it refers to the Khabar, yani the predicate, yani the agreement of the predicate to the subject. So this is where we need to know now that subject and predicate we have already discussed they are that they are equal in number and gender. So yutabiqu al khabaru al muqtada fi. So the predicate agrees with the subject fi, yani in. Tabaka yutabiqu mutabakatan. That means to to agree. So here mutabakatuhu. Here it is used as master. Here it is used as masnar. That's why I have translated it as agreement because it's a noun. So it's agreement to the subject. But yutabiku is a verb. Yutabiku al khabaru al muqtada. So the 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 khabar or the predicate agrees with the subject. Fi in in what number one al ifradi wa tathniyati wa jami and it will be equal in Singular, dual, and plural. Nahu, for example, al madarisu waqifun. The teacher is standing. So al madarisu is one, and waqifun is also. It is used for one. Wat tulabu jalisuna. Tulabu is plural, so the khabar is also plural. Wat tulabu jalisuna, and the students are sitting. Ba bal fasli mughlaqani. So here we are talking about two doors of the classroom. So that's why it's two doors. That's why we have Mughlaqani. And because the subject is dual, that's why the predicate is also dual. That means both of the doors of the classroom are closed. And its windows, its two, it's both of its windows are open. What was the original construction? Excellent. So the noon has been dropped. Why? Because it is used as love. Excellent. So because two windows, window is feminine, and that's why here the khabar is feminine. And bab, as we know, baba, two doors, two doors. And so because we know that uh, it's, it's masculine, and that's why it is mughlaqani, and it's not mughlaqatani. Why? Because we know that bab in Arabic is masculine, whereas nafida is feminine. Number two, fit tadkiri wa ta'nithi. In uh, in gender, as we say, as we say, being mudakkar um, and muannat. So Nahru, for example, Hamidun muhandisun. Hamid is an engineer. So we know that Hamid is masculine. That's why uh, the predicate that we have used is also muhandisun is also masculine. What will be the feminine of muhandisun? Muhandisatun. Muhandisatun. So if we have Hamidatun here. If we, if we have Hamidatun, so we will say Hamidatun, Muhandisatun, then we will make it feminine, right? We will say Muhandisatun, excellent. Wazawjatuhu Tabibatun, and his wife is a doctor. So Zawja, because Zawja is feminine, that's why the Khabar is also feminine. Wabnahuma Tajirani, and both of their sons are merchants. Wabna huma, so it was Wabanani and the noon has been dropped. Huma refers to both of them. It refers both. to both Hamid and his wife and both of uh, their sons are merchants. Wabinta uh, huma and both of their daughters Wabishatani <laughs> are teachers. Excellent. And both of their daughters are teachers. So it was Bintani and the noon has been dropped because it is Mubahamud And we can see here because here we have two uh, and it is for the feminine, both of them. And that's why the khabar is also mudarrisa tani. And here, because it is two two sons, uh, similarly the khabar is also tajirani. So the the summary is that muqtada and khabar are equal in number and gender. Generally, I mean, they are equal in number and gender. 
All right. So shall we do one more exercise or is this enough? Yes, Ustad. If time is there, shall I will do one more on exercise? Exercise, all right. Ij'al, make, ja'ala yaj'alu, and fi'al al-amr will be ij'al, make, kulla ismin, every noun, mimma, whatever, or with uh, that, ya'ti follows muqtadan into muqtada. So we have to change every noun that we have over here into muqtada. Ahmadu. Ahmadu, mamnu min sarf because it's on the pattern of af'alu. So make one sentence about Ahmadu. We have to make Ahmad muqtada. Rakiyun. Yes. Ahmad. Rakiyun, excellent. Rakiyun, perfect. Uh, Ahmad is intelligent, all right. Ahmadu wa akhuhu. Now we have two, Ahmad and his brother. Mushtahidani. Uh, excellent. Uh, Ahmadu wa akhuhu, mushtahidani. Or, or we can say Rakiyani. If you want to go with the Rakiyun, then we will say Rakiyani or mushtahidani. Al Muslimuna, it's plural. Um, Muslims. Muslims. Yes. Al Muslimuna Yusaluna. Okay. Khamsata Salawatan. Perfect. Or we can say Al Muslimuna Salihuna. Perfect. Uh, Muslims are um, pious. Al Muslimuna Salihuna. All right. As Sayyaratu. Jadidatun. Jadidatun. Perfect. As Sayyaratu Jadidatun. Manarata al Masjidi. Uh, we are talking about the two uh, two uh, minarets of the Masjid. Alim, we say Alim, and we want to say uh, two of them are high. Aliyatani, excellent. Manarata al Masjidi, Aliyatani. And two uh, minarets of the Masjid are high. Attalibatu. Mashallah, you can write anything about yourselves. We have most of Talibat over here. Talibatu, Mujtahidatu. Abkiyahu, if you want to say they are intelligent, Abkiyahu, yes, intelligent, yes. Because Abkiyahu is, is used for both masculine and feminine. Qalamun. Or Al-Qalamu, we can say, yes. Or Qalamun, we can say Qalamun Jadidun. Or we can say Al-Qalamu Jadidun. Uh, al Kalamu Azraku, Al Kalamu Ahmaru, Al Kutubu. Yes, please remember this is a plural of Kitabun, Al Kutubu. I want to say books are useful. Mufidatun. Mufidatun. Ahsanti. Mufidatun. Why? Because it's a broken plural. Uh, so that's why the Khabar has to be singular feminine. Ma, uh, very easy. Ma is smoker. Ma is smoker. Ma. And ma, man? Maridun. Man maridun. Man maridun. Excellent. And we have the answers over here. Uh, we have made our own sentences and we have some sentences over here as well. Ahmadu uh, Dakiyun, Ahmadu Ahu Mustaidani, Al Muslimuna Yusaluna. So Yusaluna, as we can see here, this is a, a verbal sentence and basically. Uh, we have hum yani yusalluna so hum refers to al muslimuna as sayyaratu jamilatun the car is beautiful <clears throat> then we have manarata al masjid aliyatani so two minarets of the masjid are high at talibatu inda al mudirati the students are with the manager so we can see here that inda al mudirati is basically shibhu jumlatin Qalamu majidin ala al maktabi. So if you want to use it as qalamu, then we have to make it qalamu majidi. So we have to use it as mudaf mudafile. And when we say qalamu majidin, now it becomes a proper noun. Why it becomes a proper noun? Mudaf al marifa. So qalamu majidin, the book of majid, ala al maktabi. Ala al maktabi is on the desk. So this is shibu jumla jar majroor. Al kutubu mufidatun. The books are useful. Ma bika. What's wrong with you and Man Muridun, who is sick? So Alhamdulillah, we have uh, lots of exercises, lots of information about subject and predicate. And inshallah, when we start analyzing the text of the Quran, uh, these exercises and these, these lessons will help us a lot. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, shahadu an la ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum 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 wa al